To build this power supply, we'll need XL4016 DC-DC buck converter. This is used to step down the voltage. DC voltmeter and ammeter. This is for measuring the output voltage and current. Multi-turn variable resistor. This is for changing the voltage. I modified a normal variable resistor to create this multi-turn variable resistor, which I'll show in the video. Female banana socket. This is for the output connection. Laptop charger. This will be used as the power source. This laptop charger was 19 volts and I modified it to 24 volts. Plastic box. This is for housing all the components. If you have any questions about these components, feel free to ask in the comments below. Now I'm making holes in this plastic box for the volt and ammeter, banana sockets, and variable resistor. Now we've put the volt and ammeter, banana sockets, and variable resistors in their places. As you know, we're using a special variable resistor for this power supply. The variable resistor you see in my hand right now is a normal one. We've changed it to a multi-turn variable resistor, which allows for finer voltage control. Let's see how it's made. The multi-turn preset you see in my hand. I took it out from the XL4016 DC-DC buck converter. We have to open these presets anyway, because we'll attach the modified multi-turn variable resistors in their place. This allows for finer control of voltage and current. Now we will complete all the connections according to this diagram. If you are interested in these types of projects, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you have any problems, you can let us know by commenting.
Now I'm making holes in the box for the AC socket and a switch. Now, according to the diagram, I'll connect an AC socket and an SBSD switch to the laptop charger. Now I will firmly attach the laptop charger inside the plastic box with double-sided tape. If you want, you can use any other adhesive glue. Now connect the 24-volt output from the laptop charger to the input of the XL4016DC to DC buck converter. Now that all the work is finished, let's power it on before closing the box to see if everything works. Here's the complete circuit diagram of the power supply. Everything is working properly, let's close the box now. The power supply is now fully built. Let's test how it works with a load. That's all for today, hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and share the video. And yes, you can subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos. See you in the next video.